guess art was somehow always part of my life. My parents tell me stories that I was grabbing markers and painting on their walls when I was like two or three years old. Fashion was very early on present in my projects. Immediately, I realized that the amazing thing about it was actually that fashion would actually take my work to the world, you know? So I would actually see people on the streets wearing my artwork. From the very beginning, I always wanted to actually be able to reach, you know, people who are not necessarily in the art world. I think color is political. You know, and I've always used color as a, as a tool of engagement. One thing that really bothers me is polarization. You know, people are fighting against, you know, against each other the whole time. You know, and I think we need to be brought together. So when I was invited to do this project, I was so happy to finally do something that would help people's lives, you know, in a very uh, concrete way. It's about certain countries. We need to pay some sort of like a tribute to these countries where we, you know, actually gonna be helping, you know. So every single country where the project is active and turn that, those countries' shapes into patterns that would actually fill with color, a metaphor of like bringing joy. Like very early on, that's what I wanted to do. One of the requirements of the project from Marco Kors crew is actually that I should use an image of the globe or of you know the earth or something related to you know the world. I wanted the zero to be surrounded by these countries. So my idea was actually that this these countries would actually eventually cover the zero so the zero eventually would not be an issue anymore because hunger would be would have been solved. Da, da, da.